Hey everyone, I am sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably don't know. Um, I was in New York City from the 19th to the 24th with my mom, so that was really fun um, and a great time together. And then, so we flew back on the 24th and then it was Christmas and now it's the 26th and I'm filming this now. So that's why there haven't been very many videos on my channel, um, but I have a lot to film and I am excited to kind of get a up on that over my winter break before classes start up again. So I thought today, um, as my first video back from being in New York City, I would share with you guys the makeup I brought with me, the makeup I brought in my makeup bag, because I haven't been doing, um, I haven't done a makeup basket in a while now. So I thought I would just kind of use this as a way to catch up um, with makeup and everything like that. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, per usual, I have everything laid out. So I brought this lip balm, which is the Sierra Bees Organic Cocoa Butter Lip Balm, which I was using. This is really nice. It's a pretty hard texture, but when it's on your lips, it melts down to like an oil. So this is a perfect like prepping lip balm um, for your lips for like, you know, lipstick or anything like that. Just because it really like sinks in, it takes a while to sink in. So I put this on and then I do the rest of my face makeup. Um, per usual, I'm using the Skin Iceland Anti-Blemish Gel on any acne that I had going on. Um, and then for my primers, I'm using the Tea Tree Pore Minimizer from the Body Shop, along with I had this little size of the Murad Invisible Invisibler Perfecting um, Shield little guy. So this is just a little mini size of the primer that I've been using, you know, for the last couple months, I'd say. Uh, for my eye primer, um, I'm still using the Wet n Wild uh, eye primer here. So I really like this. It works really well for me. And then two um, like cream shadows that I'm using. So to open up the inside of my eyes and brighten them up, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Eraser, which is just a light pink pencil that I use on the inner corner of my eyes. Very similar. Um, I replaced Benefit Eye Bright with that. So I finished up my Benefit Eye Bright. And then all over the lid, I'm using my Bare, Bare Minerals 5-in-1 not concealer, uh, baby, I'm having trouble talking. Let's try this again. Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Cream Shadow in the shade Barely Nude, which is just a cream shadow, has SPF in it. It kind of dries down to a matte finish. It um, It's kind of like a concealer where it clears out any um, like veins that you would see. It just covers them up really nice, so I really enjoy that. And then to set that, I was just using my Anastasia Banana Powder right here um, in this little Z palette that I brought. And I use this for other things too, which I'll mention as we go. For eyeshadow, I did bring my Lurac Pro because I'm in the home stretch of finishing this up for Pan Matte Palette this year. Um, I'll have my finale at the end of the year, so just in a few days soon. And then I'll share with you guys my plans for next year and where I'm starting with that. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then my companion palette to go with with to go with this has been my NARS duo in the shade Alhambra um, so it's just a shimmery golden and a shimmery kind of like pink champagne um, and I brought this with and I used it but I also brought another palette with me um, this is the Buxom um, empty it's it's the one that you buy empty and then you fill it with eyeshadows you pick them on your own so these are the shadows that I've put in mine um, I can list them down below if you are interested I'll you know specify which way I'm going but anyway you just um you pick them and then they slide out and you put them in this thing and then they slide in and you can interchange them however you know you want but I brought this with me just for you know quick eye looks and to change up the um, Lorac Pro for myself okay so for eyeliner I brought um, a couple with me this is the pixie so endless silky eye pen that I've been working on this is the cocoa one so it's the brown I use this on my top lash line and then I also brought the Laura Geller ink credible waterproof gel eyeliner and this is a pencil but it's a twist up um, and I've been using this on my tight line and I've really really been enjoying that so um, I did use it on my upper lash line a couple of times too and then my Tarte inner rim liner which I use on my waterline so that's great for mascara I brought with me the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, so there's that, and then also the Cosmetics Tight Line, which I use on my lower lash line. Okay, so then for my face makeup, um, what I've been doing is I've been putting on my 
uh, Pixie Brightening Peach Corrector before my foundation. So this just corrects any darkness underneath your eyes, um, you know, where you get dark circles. And then I put on my foundation, and the foundation I brought with me is the, um, the Tarte Amazon and Clay Full Coverage Foundation, which I've been loving and using a ton. So um, yeah, that's the one I brought with me. And then for concealers, I'm using the Cover FX Blemish Treatment, and this is the N um, Light version so it's just a twist up concealer it works really well it's a little bit more of a dry consistency which I think stays on my face longer so that's nice but it's a little bit hard to blend in so you know kind of give or take um, and then this is the NYX HD concealer all the writing's rubbed off but this is in the shade light which I use underneath my eyes to brighten up and conceal and everything like that so um, to set my concealers for my under eyes, I use Anastasia Vanilla, which I have a big chunk of pan on. And then for my concealer on my face, I use Anastasia Banana just to really set it and kind of like adds a little bit more um, coverage to those areas. So that's that. And then to set my entire face, I'm using the Tarte Smooth Operator Setting Powder. It's the loose version. I really, really love this powder. It's probably my favorite. So um, yeah, I brought this with me because I did finish up my other powder. Um, that I was working on. And I did bring another powder with me. This is the Cover FX N25 Pressed Mineral Foundation. N25 is my shade. I um, mean, it looks pretty yellow in the pan, but it fits my skin really well once it's on my skin. So I brought this along. Um, this was actually just in my purse as a touch-up powder. So what I do is I blot my skin with like, um, you know, like a Bosha or a NYX blotting sheet. And then I use this all over to just kind of like re-mattify and add a little bit more coverage. And this worked really well for that. So I'm glad I brought that along. Um, and then for my brows, what I did most days is I used my Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde, like usual. Um, I'm getting a nice dip in there again. Um, but then some days I did just use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I have mine in the shade Taupe. Um, so it's got a spoolie on one side, which is really nice, and then the pencil on the other. And then as my brow gel, I'm still using the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde, which I love. So there's that. Um, okay, so for my cheeks, I brought along my NARS Gieberden um, palette that I am panning, so I will show you the inside of this for my Pan That palette later this month as well. And then I used, um, which I've been using for a long time now, is the Anastasia Fawn as my contour shade. So that was um, what's all in here and how I used it. Okay. Um, and then I brought a little sample size of the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I just saved the bottle. Um, so I can refill it because it's like literally this big, but or maybe a little bit bigger, but about this size. And it's perfect for travel. I can fit enough in it to last me about a week or so. So um, that's what I did. I brought my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, which is my favorite setting spray, but just in a little size. Okay, so for lip products, I brought a bunch of lip products. Um, I didn't use all of them, but I guess I'll just share. So I brought two lip glosses. I brought my Essence Bright Side of Life, which is in my project pan. I'm almost done with this, but I honestly probably used it maybe once out of the whole time I was there. And then I also brought the Modern Minerals lip gloss that I got in my Petty Vore box um, in November. I didn't get one in December just because I knew I was going to be gone and be too crazy. So, um, but this I didn't use either. Um, what I did use quite a bit is the NARS Rakugan uh, lip pencil. This was the um, Sephora perk from this past year. So that's what it looks like there on my hand. Just a perfect, you know, everyday pink kind of shade. And then I brought my Bite double sided um, lips, lipstick here because this is perfect for your purse. Um, so on one side, one side is date, which is kind of a little bit more brown. And then this one is fig, which is a little bit more pink. So this is fig and that is no, that's date and that's fig. And then while I was in New York City, and I'm going to do a whole video about this, I went to the Bite Lip Lab and I made my own lipstick. So this is the lipstick I made. I call it Grace. Um, I just, that's my middle name, so I went for it. Um, and this is what it looks like. Like I said, I'll have a whole video. So I've been wearing this a lot. It is what I have on my lips today. And swatched, this is what it looks like there. So um, stay tuned for that because I'm going to do a whole video about my experience, how it worked, everything, and more about my lipstick. So that's that. And then the last thing I brought was my Hourglass Dim Light Powder, um, which I got my mom hooked on. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, that is all the makeup I brought to New York with me. I'm really happy. Um, you know, I did bring a couple extra things, but really I feel like I did a good job not bringing too much. And this is just, you know, what I need on an everyday basis. So 
that is the makeup I've been wearing lately. Um, a lot of this stuff is still going strong. I only finished up a couple things while I was there, so you will see those in my empties. But yeah, that's what I've been using lately, and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a great holiday, um, you know, with your friends or family or whoever you celebrate it with. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.